A local center for teens targeted by a man who appears to be dressed as a security guard. Surveillance video captured him lurking around the building and eventually stealing the security camera. Tonight, the center has extra security. And new tonight, CBS 13's Macy Jenkins is live on Elk Grove Boulevard with those details. Macy. Well, Angela and Tony, this is where that so-called security guard walked up with a stick in his hand. But the center's executive director noticed something was fishy immediately because neither this center nor the nearby businesses have a security guard. Everything in me just wanted to scream because <laughs> it was... I was like, what is, what is he doing? Spotted on surveillance, this man lurking around Teen Center USA with a large stick. Moments later, he reached up and took the camera. Just freaked out because, like, who does that? Executive Director Goldine Smith made the discovery Thursday morning. When she came into work, she noticed one of the security cameras was gone. And then just looking closer at the footage and realizing, Oh, he looks like he's dressed as a police officer or some kind of security officer. But Teen Center USA doesn't have a security guard. Video shows the man stopping near the church across the street before heading to the center. I'm pretty sure he's thinking, what do I do? Because obviously my face got caught on this camera. Smith took me outside to see exactly where the wannabe guard stopped. So this camera caught him? Yes, yeah. And what about that stick? You and think then, maybe it was to get through the window or to poke yeah, at the Yeah, that's camera? what we were thinking. Obviously, we don't know what his intentions were. Thankfully, Smith says he didn't get inside. Kim McCorston volunteers across the street. You know, I just don't feel like we're really safe anywhere these days, so we just have to be as cautious as we can. Smith called Elk Grove Police, who came to investigate, but she didn't file a report, saying having added patrol in the area is sufficient for now. That definitely quelled any anxiety that I had. Still, she posted the man's picture to social media as a heads up to other old town businesses. We need to let other people know um, to be aware and be careful of their surroundings. Now, Teen Center USA is a nonprofit where kids can stop by, do their homework, and have a safe place to hang out together. Smith says she just bought these new floodlights yesterday to keep this entire area well lit. Her priority is maintaining the safety of Teen Center USA for the entire community.